Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Now today, um, I'm just gonna have a quick look through your comments. Um, over the last couple of months, the channel's grown. Um, got knocking on 200 subscribers now, which isn't huge in the grand scheme of thing, but what I love is that so many of you will actually get in touch, will leave comments, will send me messages, and will you know watch all the videos I put out there, and that really means a lot, you know, um, and I really, really hope it's, it's helping some of you guys. Now, I've had some great supportive comments, I've had some slightly less supportive comments, um, but I don't mind a bit of criticism, um, and I actually quite enjoy it when people disagree with me on certain points. Um, certainly, the last video I made about FOBTs being rigged um, sort of raised a few uh, a few questions from other people, a few people who disagree with me, and that's that's great. You know, it's great to open discussion. I don't I don't claim to be the oracle and uh, have the answer to everything. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's have a little look through the comments. I've gone to cut back a couple of months, um, and I'll have a little scroll through, and uh, yeah, I'll answer any questions people might have had, or maybe address any points that people have made. There's a few comments that's on this video, um, the G Gambling Addict Reacts video, which got a bit of a backlash originally. A lot of people gave up um, with the video before before I actually made the point. Um, so we start with this comment from Tommy Tom, um, who basically said he used to get upset after big losses. Now, he, now he's able to walk back uh, out of the bookies with a, a, a few thousand loss. And yeah, I mean, this rings so, so true. You know, it's when you first start gambling, you kind of gamble with uh, the hope and expectation of winning. From my experience, as the the experience um, as the addiction takes hold, it becomes less and less about the gambling. It becomes less about the winning or losing, uh, and it becomes more and more just about uh, you know getting that that gambling fix, getting that dopamine hit. And actually, sometimes you know I, I must admit I've been gambling and actually been reasonably grateful when I've I've run out of money because then I can draw a line under it. I can I can leave. I can move on. The deeper you get into this, the um, the more and more of a race to the bottom it can become. So yeah, absolutely, like Tommy Toms here says, you know, um, you start off getting annoyed by small losses or disappointed with the losses. And in the end, you're just throwing money away because all you're doing is you're, you're playing to get that hit. And then it's, it's you know, once you, your money's gone, you know you can then move on with your day. It's it's a crazy it's a crazy mindset, but it's it's absolutely true. Um, cheers to uh, to Ben Tatsfield, who said I should be a gambling therapist. Just a very quick point on that. I'm really not. Um, I have absolutely no qualifications other than being there, doing that, and getting the t-shirt. And I still don't have that t-shirt. And uh, there's no merch link in bio, so you can be grateful for that. But um, no, I really appreciate that, Ben. Um, if you're still watching the videos, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really good to get comments like that. But like I say. My advice is purely down to my experience. I'm not an experienced therapist. I'm not a counsellor. Dodo S says, I know your voice. Aren't you making gambling videos or have made? Um, you're not the only person to say this, actually, Dodo S. I've had a couple of people actually come to me and say, ask me if I'm hyperlinks. Uh, I'm not hyperlinks. Um, I did actually watch his videos. Um, and actually, it's crazy because he, he has a very similar layout in his, his apartment or his flat as, as I do or used to years ago um, with the, the fruit machines and the, the bottom of the footwell. Uh, of the stairs so uh yeah no i'm not hyperlinks um but uh, i haven't actually heard from him recently i presume he's probably one of the many who've got banned from youtube um but it, it, on the off chances watching this video i hope he's doing well um because i know he, he had a few a few problems himself and, and fair play to him even though he was making sort of pro gambling videos he was still very happy to talk about his losses talk about the, the problem and, and to talk about when he took a break so no fair play to, to hyper and thank you dodo s for your, your comment there Gaines Bond, few few comments along these lines. Um, people will come from a, a similar history to me, someone who used to actually play uh, fruit machines, you know, and actually I used to play them as a, a form of income. Um, yes, that was possible, uh, less so now. And that's where they started off, you know, small stakes, fruit machines, and then it, it, it builds and builds. And uh, yeah, before you realise it, the addiction's taken hold when actually you just thought it was a, a bit of fun. So I can certainly sympathise with that. Um, this one, now... Uh, Tomislav Milic, um, Tomislav Milic, I presume that's how you pronounce it, my apologies if that's wrong, um, is actually, I very rarely, uh, you know, reply anything negative to any comments that I receive, even ones that disagree with me, because like I say, I, I quite like people to disagree with me sometimes, um, you know, to me that's absolutely fine, it's it's good to have differences of opinion and, and to sort of, you know, discuss topics, debate them, but this one who said, uh, so you don't know how to play roulette, you must be stupid, what about the law of third and chaos theory applied to roulette. Yeah, the, the fact that they they're accusing me of, of being stupid um, because I don't uh, I don't know how how law of third and chaos theory uh, apply to roulette. Now I do understand chaos theory. Law of third I've got a vague overview of um, chaos theory. You you can't apply to roulette really. Um, 
uh, very, very quickly, and I'll make a video on this actually in the future. Um, there are ways of winning at roulette. Um, so this video that says the only way to win at roulette, you know, is to not play it. And I was basically said there's no ways to win at roulette. There are, I believe, three ways to win at roulette. Firstly, basically you find a biased wheel. Um, virtually impossible in any modern casino. Obviously impossible online uh, in bookies or whatever. But virtually impossible now in any bricks and mortar casino. No bent wheels, no biased wheels. Um, and even then, assessing, monitoring a biased wheel would just... It's, it's not practical now. Second is uh, a roulette computer, um, basically whereby it calculates the speed, velocity of the ball, the wheel, and, and predicts numbers while the, you know, while you can still, while betting still in play. It's proven to work in, in many situations, certainly narrows the, uh, the result down to a section of numbers on the wheel. You know, whilst not actually technically illegal, uh, certainly guaranteed to, to get you barred from any and all casinos. Third way to win a roulette is visual ballistics. Um, I won't go into too much into visual ballistics, but it's kind of like using a roulette computer, but actually relying on your brain. Very, very few people are capable of it, it's, you know, and it requires so much practice and, and knowledge. And again, you know, because you don't need a reason to buy you. So, um, so anyway, my point is chaos theory got nothing to do with roulette. No, I'm not stupid. I've, I've, I've acted in a stupid way in the past by gambling and by playing roulette. Um, it's only now uh, I finally come to my senses and I'm. This is why I'm trying to sort of help other people and relay this information. So, Thomas Lev Milic, um, thanks for your comment and thanks for the view. But uh, no, I'm, I'm not stupid and I'm not going to uh, try and apply chaos theory to, to roulette. There's a few people you know, who have said similar things to uh, Alexander here. I can give up gambling for a while um, and then go back to it. All I say is, is don't give up. I've had relapses, I've had lapses, and I've had lapses that turn into relapses. And all I can say is, is just go back to what you were doing. If you if you managed to survive six months, you know, and then you've gone back to gambling, you can do six months. So you can do another six months in that period where you, you relapse. Try and limit your damages. Get back on the the horse. Um, don't don't overblow it. Just just you know, go back to what you were doing because whatever you're doing, if you've lasted six months, it was working. So that's great. Um, Arjun Arjun Kanani here. Um, hello, Arjun. Sorry again if I mispronounced your name. Who who said that if you're addicted to machines? This is again um, in response to I think possibly my most watched video. Um, he said the most logical thing to do is if you're addicted is to break the machines every time you lose, and then uh, the staff won't report it and you'll get banned. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't think I can really really promote that as a a means of abstinence. <laughs> um, but you know, I like your thinking. You know, t certainly ten out of ten for thinking. Andrew Duffy. Thank you for this. I really appreciate this. I won't read the whole thing out, but he's basically saying he didn't know how to react to the video. Uh, again, this is the Angry Gamblers video. Didn't know how to react to it, um, but then when he got to my point, it was it was spot on. This was kind of what I was after, uh, but the problem is is that a lot of people, quite rightly, because the my, uh, my my act here at the beginning of that video, um, maybe I'll take it up here. Did I take that one? I can't remember. I might have taken that one earlier. Whatever. Um, you know, the beginning of that video was just me acting really badly uh, and made me look like a really bad reaction channel. So uh, thank you, Andrew, for, for sticking with the video far enough to actually get to the point of it. That's that's really appreciated. Arjun Kanani here. Uh, good theory and good examples, but the sad fact is, as gamblers, we're all idiots. Now, I totally disagree with that. We're not idiots. Uh, we act in a very foolish way. We act in a stupid way. We act on uh, an addiction. Yes, you know, on the surface of it, certainly looking from the outside, uh, there's no logic in gambling. Uh, because we, you know you're set out to lose but i don't think you know you can describe people um as gamblers idiots because I, I don't think we are i think we're just you know we're people who act in a, a stupid way because of an addiction and uh yes i i, I totally agree that uh, personal responsibility is is absolutely you know key absolutely key to recovery and sort of just saying oh it's an addiction i can't help it um isn't really helpful, and this is why I don't necessarily agree with the uh, the, the gamblers and honours mantra. But uh, I would I would strongly disagree, Arjun, that uh, that all gamblers are idiots. But thanks thanks for your comment; it, does, it is appreciated. BL four K. Um, there's no legal minimum payback on gambling; only the RTP has to be displayed. I disagree with that. From my knowledge, um, it's seventy percent on category C AWPs. Um, I believe it's sixty percent on uh, cross channel ferries. It always used to be anyway. Um, I don't know what the minimum is for quiz machines because they're skill, theoretically skill. I don't know whether there has to be a minimum for quiz machines. Uh, you know, with very, very few exceptions. I think Bullseye used to be able to empty and certainly Connect Four um, you could play. You know, I don't think anyone's really playing quiz machines for profit. Most of the time it's just for a bit of uh, a little bit of fun to kill a bit of time, isn't it? And uh, 
you know, it's weirdly, it's, it's the one form of gambling that I would have actually no issue partaking in now because my wife actually likes playing a, a couple of quiz machine games. Doesn't bother me at all. I, I I never expect to win anything on them. I don't play them to win. I don't see them as gambling. I say them as spending fifty p to get a few minutes of entertainment while you're in the pub. So yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right with the quiz machines. But I do think there is a legal limit, certainly a regulated limit on on uh, AWPs and uh, a lower limit on on cross channel ferry runs. Arjun Kanani, again, thank you. More people need to see your videos. <laughs> like and share them. Tell more people. Spread them on uh, on social media. If you think there's anyone who could actually benefit from these videos, then then do share them. The, the reason I make these. Uh, aside from the fact it keeps me from gambling because you know I'm talking about it and I'm I'm actually spending time doing this rather than gambling um, is because hopefully my experiences can help people before they get to the stage that I got to if that makes any sense you know if people can think about talk about and address their gambling at an earlier stage than I did then then so so much the better this mega streak here says random games need to be banned I don't see random games being any worse than compensated games personally I totally agree with that there should be more regulation on on machines in general uh, and in gambling in general and, and this week has been brilliant gambling has hardly been out of the news all week because of new regulatory changes because of the the ban on credit cards which I think actually now covers in my video I made about it I said it was just for the fob tees, but I think actually it's going to be for online for UK registered online casinos as well and that'd be fantastic news um and, and really hopefully do a bit of damage limitation for those people who are addicted to these uh, these games um so i don't think random games are any more dangerous than compensated games probably personally i'm against an outright ban on gambling which might be a surprise to some people but i'm not very much one to say just ban this ban that ban anything that's potentially harmful because then then where do you stop you know it doesn't mean you can't have a couple of pints on a friday night i'm very much anti Banning everything. Mega Strick again very quickly. I think I'm deluded. Got a full time job. I think I can play and make even more money. I did. I did used to play and make more money. The problem is, is when I stopped making more money, the, the gambling thing was, was there. While well, it wasn't a problem, obviously, while I was profiting, um, but it was only a couple of years really after I stopped profiting that uh, the, 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 the real scope of the addiction reared its ugly head. Thomas Olney, um gambling is an addiction, it's a state of mind. Most gamblers think they'll double their money. I agree, there are a section of people who think they, they can win, they think they can beat gambling. I think this is normally more reserved to people who um, bet on sports and stuff. You know, they think they, they know their football sufficiently that they can bet and win. You know, I think a lot of gamblers, by the time they got to, certainly by the time they got to the stage I got to, really aren't that interesting, as I said earlier, interested in, in winning. Um, they just want to gamble. Um, the the result is is irrelevant. I I never certainly in the last couple of years I was gambling. I never really went on thinking I was going to win. I never really went on expecting to win. Uh, I certainly didn't think that I could double my money. Um, but you're right. There is a section of people who think they they can beat the the games. Um, and unless they genuinely can beat the games, then uh, yeah, it's it's a very dangerous mentality to think that you know somehow you've got one up on uh, on any kind of gambling because ultimately. You know, as cliched as it is, the house is, is generally always going to win. It's like getting a lecture from your dad. Uh, not quite sure I'd take that, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it probably is, you know. And I, One thing I've tried to do, and it's something I've said time and time again, but it might not come across this way. I don't I don't want to be, like, I don't want to lecture. I don't want to come, vir come across sort of virtuous. I don't want to come across saying I know best or that, you know, because I was quick gambling, you know, I, you know I'm an authority or that somehow I'm... I'm superior because I've done it because I haven't you know I'm only four and a bit months now um, since my last gamble so I know the mechanics of, of quitting but I'm by no means you know fixed I, I don't claim to be all-knowing um, certainly I'm certainly not in a position to lecture people I just want to try and help if I can and sort of share my experiences really but uh, I've never met your dad so uh, you know hopefully he's a nice guy <laughs> yeah cheers, uh, cheers Larry anyway for the comment Trap Town is yes um, I think you commented on pretty much every one of my videos could be spam but um, they said nice things and uh, everyone likes an ego massage every now and then so uh, thank you Trap Town NCS Tomo legend um, comments pretty much on all my videos always really supportive doing brilliantly as well um, over a year without gambling so yeah Tom I not a lot I can say mate your your comments don't raise a lot of issues but they are really appreciated um actually I don't know we might have disagreed on the fob tea thing maybe we'll come to that in a bit Mr Ronald again another uh, another regular poster mate really appreciate your comments um hope you're doing all right I know you've had a, a few ups and downs with your gambling really really hope it's going well mate and thank you for sticking with the channel thank you for commenting on my videos I really appreciate it particularly when you say uh, your uploads help my I'm sorry my uploads help um you know that's that's kind of the aim that's the kind of the point of it you know i'm not going to get rich off this youtube lark am i otherwise i'll be uh, doing uh, slot bonus compilation videos yeah another uh, another video on affiliates coming soon because um yeah, i may have changed my opinion a little bit but um 
hold that thought. Trevor Rainsford, um, if you haven't watched this guy's videos, watch him. He's doing really well. Fair play to Trevor. He's, he posted like I did. Had a, a lapse, um, very similar sort of time I did, um, but going really, really well now. Check out Trevor's videos. Give him a watch. And uh, yeah, I hope you're going well, Trevor. And thanks for, for watching the videos, mate, and for leaving your... Um, for leaving your comments that's really appreciated katie another one gave a shout out in one of my last videos um katie i speak to on a personal level been really really supportive from the get-go always watches my videos always comments you know very very supportive and again she's another one if you haven't watched katie's videos go over to her channel um if you search katie clark she'll come up i can put a link in the description couldn't i in true youtube style um but i'll probably forget because i'm forgetful like that so um yeah watch katie's videos um that she's really good she's really down to earth really honest uh, you know, tells it as it is, shoots from the hip, and wears a heart and a sleeve, and all those other cliches. But uh, yeah, definitely worth a watch. So thank you, Katie, for for sticking with us. Nick, yeah, Nick, I think you're another one. Um, I think we we've disagreed on a couple of things, but again, I really really appreciate you. Um, you know, you watching my videos. Uh, you know, you were talking about um, <laughs> basically the you know your pubs being flooded by these digital cabs, and and they absolutely are. Um, that's pretty much all you get in pubs now. Old school freight machines are gone. These random new games are in because they're pretty much a guaranteed profit, aren't they? So, yes, that amazing thing where you pop into the, the pub and you have two pints and you walk out 50 quid lighter. Uh, absolutely know that feeling, mate. Absolutely know that feeling. And the worst thing you can do is go into a pub and end up having a pint on your own. Um, as I often did, go in after work and there's no one in there. You used to see in the regulars, no one in there. So you get yourself a pint and before you know it, your pint's cost you 50 quid, 100 quid, whatever. And you walk out just thinking, I should have just turned around and walked out in the first place. Is it GS Skills? Um, thank you for your comments, mate. Thank you for sharing your experiences. Uh, I know you follow a lot of the other the other gambling guys and, uh, you know, it's great to have you. Um, great to have you on board. I really hope you're doing well, mate. You know, it sounds like you've had a, a sort of a, a gambling issue for as long as I have. Uh, so really, really hope you're you're cracking on, mate, and you're you're doing well. Nick, yeah, I think this is one of the things we disagreed on actually on Dead or Alive Two. I didn't have a personal issue with the game. If you're going to play, if you're going to play online slots, then play whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Um, and I can see the appeal of Dead or Alive Two. My my issue with it, as I think I explained in the video, um, or but may not have come across, you know, particularly well, was that uh, it's being used by casino streamer affiliates and also by Netin and by the casinos themselves as a, a marketing tool to, to draw people in because they know full well that if it's capable of doing these big wins someone will win one uh, and they'll get posted all over online and it will encourage people who may not have actually considered doing this before to, to sign up just to play that game and uh, yeah that's that's always going to add to the problem rather than uh, rather than reduce it I, I totally agree if you're going to play a <laughs> you know if you're going to play an online slot then dead or alive too to be honest at least has a, a you know the the ability to to give you a good payout off a small stake. So you know I'm not I'm not blind. I'm not like I've stopped not stopped gambling and then suddenly don't understand how it works. So no, I do understand why people want to play that game. But uh, like I say, I think it's a bit of a cynical marketing tool in in my own opinion. Our racing commentator, absolute legend, because he told me I was funny. I do sometimes try and be funny. Uh, sometimes it comes off. Most of the time it doesn't. But uh, no, I appreciate that and um, thank you for your comment. I know you did say at some point that. Um, you know, you weren't sure that you'd ever be able to give up gambling. So that's up to you, mate. I'm not here to tell you you should or you shouldn't. Um, but if you do want to give up, then just take me as an example, mate. If, if I can stop, then uh, trust me, anyone can stop. I was gambling daily. I was gambling on so many different things. You know, if I can stop doing it, then I know you can. Joe W, um, thoughts about dealing with a big loss? Yeah, I I didn't um, actually get around to making that video. I sort of half scripted it. I know it's very rare. I very rarely script videos, but I will. I'll come back to that, mate. And uh, I will make a video on dealing with big losses. So watch this, uh, watch this space. Yeah, Mark Wilkinson. Yeah, I, we spoke about this, didn't we? Um, it sucks, doesn't it? It's it's one of them things that you you only realise the severity of the problem when you actually stop adding to it. You know, um, basically, Mark said about the fact he'd stopped gambling and he'd sorted his debts out, and now he was repaying it, and he's actually now repaying a lot more than he was than um, when he was gambling. And I did exactly the same. You know, it's only when I stopped gambling and addressed my addressed my finances. I realised how much I owed, and I had to sort it out. You know, while you're continuing to gamble, continuing to borrow, continuing to bury your head in the sand, you know, it actually doesn't feel quite as bad. It's only when you actually go and try and do something positive, something proactive, and actually sort your sort your shit out, for want of a better expression, you realise how bad it is, and you actually then have to, you then start suffering. But brilliantly done. It's, it, you know, you're doing so, so well. Um, 15 months, it's just brilliant. You know, it's really, really good, and... I'm hoping that in a year's time I can be here saying I'm 16 months, you know, and 
yeah so thanks so much for watching and, and thanks for sharing your your experience i will like i say that 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 uh debt advice video is coming um well actually it's probably gonna be several videos to be honest because it's a bit too much to fit into one jack bishop um yeah jack bishop actually one of the reasons for my um follow-up video about gamblers anonymous because he did come back and he said uh, you can see it on my, my why i dislike gamblers anonymous uh, video i won't read it all now um because i'm, I'm aware this video has already got quite long but he does make some really good points about GA, and I will just reiterate what I said in my follow-up, which was I wasn't saying that GA is a bad thing, um, and I know for a fact that it works for a lot of people, and I know that it's probably saved a lot of people's lives, it's probably stopped an awful lot of people gambling, and it, it can be a really positive thing. Um, my I think my video was purely that it wasn't for me, and I, I did explain the reasons why I didn't think it was for me, and why some people don't like this GA. Um, and I think my point I was trying to make really was that if you've tried GA and it wasn't for you, then don't give up giving up, because there are other there are other options. Don't don't sort of think GA is the only way, um, because it's not. Because I, I'm I'm doing okay uh, without GA, and I know other people who are. But you know, yeah, if you if you tried other things, like if you flip that on its head, if you've tried other things, and they've not worked, and you've lapsed and relapsed, and you haven't tried GA, then then go for it. You've got nothing to lose by trying it. Nice jacket. A few comments about the Stone Island jacket. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, there's actually a couple. There's a green one and a blue one. Um, very, very quickly, because this is not gambling related. If you're going to buy a Stone Island jacket, for God's sake, buy it from Stone Island or buy it from buy it from a reputable retailer because I've bought a couple on eBay. They turn out to be fake. Even good-looking fakes, they turn out to be fake. Bite the bullet. If you're going to buy one, spend the money. Um, give up gambling for a couple of months. Then buy it with the, with the proceeds, you know, and buy a decent one, buy a proper one, and it will last you for years and years and years um they are expensive but uh yeah you know they, they are brilliantly made and they will last for years and years and years um even though they stop you getting in pubs on match days but that's a, that's a story for another day isn't it already monica r thank you your first time commenting 75 days without gambling that was brilliant so don't worry you, you relapsed you relapsed it's you know it happens i can't imagine there's many people that have said i'm going to give up gambling and then never gambled again most people have lapses they have relapses you, the only thing the best thing you can do is is not dwell on it not talk about it just go back to doing what you were doing that was working and start over again and, and just you know move on because that's the only way i find you can, you can do it but good luck monica and thanks so much for watching watching the videos um source 916 mcnasty first cocksucker put your mind to it and don't make excuses to gamble you can quit um I think that's motivational. Uh, thanks, uh, McNasty, if that is your real name. Uh, you said here that you, you fell off the wagon on, on Christmas Eve. Um, like I said, I know you've had a few ups and downs with your gambling. Um, I really hope you're, you're still on that wagon from Christmas Eve. Um, if you're not, again, like I say, just, just crack on. Just think about what you did last time. Think about you know, what little gambling door was left open that enabled you to gamble. And, and try and do something like to, to close that. Do it, you know, and... Then just just get back on the horse and just do it. You know, I, you, you might lapse, you might relapse, but the, the worst thing you can do is dwell on it or just go, oh, what's the point? You know, I can't do this. You can do it. You've done it. You just haven't done it for, you know, <laughs> long enough, I guess. But um, no, thanks, Mr. Ronald. I really appreciate your, your comments, mate. Um, Tommy Tom, this is actually a, a good one. Um, thanks for your comment. And he does say, you know, because I mentioned about going into the bookies and self-excluding and that um, it really wasn't something to be embarrassed about or ashamed about because actually the, i don't think the staff are ever going to think any less of you for doing it but if you really don't think you can face it and you still want to self-exclude and it's a very very important thing to do particularly if that's your you know your go-to form of gambling is that you can actually do it on the national self-exclusion scheme um which is www.self-exclusion.co.uk um i say that because i mean to put the link in the description and i'll probably forget so uh yeah and if you do get stuck look on my gambling urges video and uh Tommy Tom has, you know, kindly provided a link there. Uh, so that's brilliant. Racing commentator. Um, I'll wrap this video up in a minute because it's just hit the half hour mark and there's no chance anyone's still watching. Um, but if you are, brilliant. Thank you very much. Racing commentator. I am checking, checking out stacks of videos. Do I do it to help others or do I do it for me? I would say both. Uh, as I said, I really hope that my experiences will stop other people from having such experiences. Hopefully it will help people address the situation maybe earlier than I did. Um, but I do also make them for me because uh, it's time away from gambling. It's me talking, getting my thoughts out there and, and sharing my experiences with people who seem to be in a similar position to me or are in a same position as I hope to be in 12 months' time or the position I was in 12 months ago. 
So yes, I hope to. I really hope it helps people. I think if I didn't think it helped anyone, I probably wouldn't do it. But I do do it for me as well. Uh, it's quite. Um, it's quite cathartic. It's quite. Uh, you know, talking about it and and talking about it with people who are both relative strangers, but also I feel like I'm getting to know and that are in the same boat, like I say, or, or were in the same boat, or you know, I'm I'm lagging behind. You know, so that that's kind of. I hope that answers your question anyway. Um, Trevor, again, thank you. Um, yeah, I did this video about Love Island. <laughs> it really, as a, who was it said? Yeah, Raw and Uncut Media said, you didn't generate any views on this. It really didn't. I mean, that was, that's about as clickbaity as I get. Um, you know, so, uh, yeah, I actually think that, you know what, I'm just going to link that one, one final card for the day, up here somewhere. That Love Island video, I thought was really good. I, I didn't actually like the video, because I didn't script it, and actually I rambled a lot. Um, he says, looking at the clock and realising he's done 33 minutes. Um, I didn't actually like the video particularly, but I thought the, the, the premise of it, I thought it was quite a good video. I thought it was quite an interesting topic. But um, yeah, it really didn't get many views, but that's, that's, that's YouTube, isn't it? So that's it. Look, what I was going to do is I was going to talk about these comments from the likes of Irate Primate, um, Richard Lamb, um, Tomo as well, uh, me and you disagreed on that, um, talking about um, the FobT video and disagreeing with my comments that FobTs are random. Now, that's great. I love to open up a debate and a conversation. And so what I'll do on the basis, by the time we've got to these comments, I've already been talking for half an hour, I will do. I will address those in a separate video. Um, so for now, thanks so much for watching. If you've got this far, really, really, really appreciate it. Um, it'll do wonders for the algorithm. Um, but I'll tell you what else will do wonders for the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, and all that business. But for now, thanks so much to everyone who's commented. Um, thanks for watching. Comment away. I love to read them. I always try and reply if I can. Um, and if it says, Phil, you've got a head like a baked bean, which is one of my favourites. Uh, one of them said, I look like Grant Mitchell. Um, someone called me Tubbs. Uh, and then I think my first bit of... Um, my first troll just said, uh, get cancer, which was uh, a fun one. Actually, and the fun thing about that was the very first troll or hot negative message I got just said, get cancer. Or please get cancer, which is, I thought was polite. Um, and two days later, I was actually going into hospital to have some cancer removed. Um, which, so, uh, yeah, I, I did. I, I, I thought a witty comeback was in order, but I, I think I just deleted the comment in the end. But um, thanks to all your comments. Anyway, thanks to all your, your, your comments, good and bad. Please feel free to comment away. Ask me anything. I'll always try and get back to you. And um, until the next one, have a great weekend, and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, guys.